<laughs> What's up folks and welcome back to the garage. In this video my goal is to fix some little things in the rear of this Volvo. I want to a little bit improve this my <laughs> my Volvo project uh, in this video <clears throat> I will install the handle uh, outside but I will take the whole hatch away uh, because I need to do also some welding here and uh, here on the on the frame there are few holes so I want to get rid of those um, I will also uh, take the fuel tank away. I want to clean it and uh, um, I'm planning to move the battery back here so now when I take it away it's uh, much safer to weld a uh, bracket or place for for the battery. So that's why there's a two reason why I take the fuel tank away so I want to clean it and for safety reasons um, next I will take this hatch away it's quite easy job or it should be <laughs> only tin this uh, pin can I say call it pin first this way and then uh, two bolts from both sides so after that it's it should be easy to take away and uh, I will also take the glass away. Why I want to do that is that, like I said, this hatch needs some welding and paint, so I want to take the, the rear glass away. It's quite easy because uh, it should, should be easy job with the water and soap, which I have in spray bottle. I just remembered <laughs> what kind of things I did with this hatch. Uh, I already have decided many, many years ago, and I that I will let this go <laughs> and throw it into uh, not garbage, uh, take it to recycle because this is in uh, quite bad condition. <clears throat> Last time uh, I had to put this. I don't remember why, but I think I needed this car 
for some kind of event or so, something like that. So I uh, quickly fixed the um, hatch. As you can see, there's a black paint, but there's a hole <laughs> there. But the seal covers it, so it <laughs> didn't matter then. Now it does. Um, I put some black paint to the frame, but as you can see, the, there's a uh, there's a some frame missing, <laughs> actually in quite many places, like there. <clears throat> so, and I I welded there a spot, and I didn't even paint it from from back so there's a little bit rust but it's only a surf, uh, surface but as you can see this is uh, quite badly rusted and um, the first thing is the the frame of the seal you can see it should be it should be like this but as you can see, the frame is gone from here to over here. So if you have a, or you know that somebody has this kind of hatch for Volvo 145, I would be very interested. And if there's the seal, Still, I would be interested of that seal too because I checked the scandix.com uh, or scandix.se. Uh, they charge about 140 or even 150 euros of that uh, rear hatch seal. So I think that's a uh, pure robbery. <laughs> I don't know why that's uh, so expensive, but. <clears throat> At this point I'm not I'm not gonna use this one so if you have a tip or you know where to get a proper rear hatch I would appreciate that a lot thank you thank you very much um, but next I will try to fix the handle because I need that in any case uh, there's a there's a I gotta show you <laughs> As you can see, there's the problem. <laughs> it should look like that. But I managed to break the bolt. So I need to do some magic with this. And I will fit it on that hatch. So then I know that it, it works. And I, I check the mechanism because I need those parts for that new hatch too. So. That will be the ne next task. And next I will focus on this handle. Uh, there should be four bolts, but the fourth is there. So <laughs> I have to figure out how to get it out. First I will put some VD40 there, like that. And now I let it be for a while. And um, in in meanwhile I will uh, clear the area behind me. I will reverse the bushel out and I will uh, prepare the welding area.
Well, this was a total disaster. Uh, the weld didn't hold, as you saw, and after that I tried to drill it, uh, but this material around that bolt is softer, so the drill went almost like a sideways. <laughs> uh, and now it's quite impossible to save it anymore. My idea was that I will dry my idea was that I will drill the hole and I make uh, new threads, but uh, it didn't succeed either. So now I have to figure out something. Maybe I drill bigger hole and fill it, and uh, then I will make new new threads. That's the plan B. But but now I have to cool down <laughs> myself. So next I will focus on the fuel tank. that canister but there is so much dirt so I won't use that gasoline anymore maybe to clean this up from the inside but not for driving use <laughs> uh, but listen to this there is something in the fuel tank and I will find that out these I found from the inside of the tank. <laughs> There's a spring and uh, this kind of parts and this and there was this ring seal but it broke immediately when I touched it but that kind of seal. Um, I tried to open the fuel tank uh, or fuel gauge sensor but if you know how to open this please give me some advice <laughs> because I couldn't get it out and I didn't want to break it because at least it used to work the fuel tank is actually in quite good condition so I think I will use it in the future uh, but I have to clean it properly before that uh, the reason why I wanted to take it off is that I need to do some welding here as you can see you can see my finger there's a few holes but nothing too serious and um, at the same I probably will move the battery back here and then I have to figure out some kind of uh, plate aluminium or or steel here to cover the tank because I don't want to get fuel on my neck if I <laughs> flip this car over someday so I want to make sure it's safe and I will also clear this or clean this area um, the handle well it's still in progress it's a shame that I didn't managed to get the old screw out but I have to figure out something with with this so if you have a spare handle and a spare uh, rear hatch I would <laughs> be <laughs> interested uh, to buy them yes I managed to do at least something and the garage is quite clean so everything is okay uh, thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up and some comments down below if you have some advice or tips how to take out that fuel uh, gauge sensor that would be great because I want to check check it 
and um, if, you, if you have the hatch or the handle <laughs> please put me some message or comment down below thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up some comments down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do it right away and remember also to press the bell thanks for watching and see you soon